What do a hijacked helicopter, some assault rifles, a few smoke bombs, and more than 3,000 policemen on the hunt have in common? A prison break. Sounds like a B-list action movie? Guess again. This is the real story of Red One Fade, one of France's most notorious gangsters and an expert jailbreaker who managed to escape prison not once, but twice. Back in 2018, Faid staged a spectacular escape, a tour de force which baffled authorities and turned Faid into somewhat of a gangster superstar. It was a Sunday morning in July 2018. While some attended Sunday service, others, namely Red One Faid, were getting ready for a show-stopping prison escape. Faid wasn't a mere petty criminal. He was somebody in the world of crime, a seasoned gangster who took pride in his so-called craft. At 45 years old, the man has spent his entire life involved in some type of illegal activities. Red One Faid was born in 1972 in France to Algerian immigrant parents. He didn't have an easy childhood. In 1988, his father abandoned his family and left Faid's mother to care for 11 children. Three years later, Faid's mother died of cancer. Red One Faid had always loved cinema, particularly gangster movies. When he was a child, Awe-filled by the action-packed thrillers he would watch, Faid swore he would either become a policeman or a thief. At only 19, he was already a delinquent, and so were his brothers. They all worked together toward a life of crime. Red One Faid's first big robbery took place in 1990, when he was still a senior in high school. After robbing a bank, he switched to hijacking and robbing armored vans. At that point, he didn't have big plans for the stolen money. Instead, he used the money to impress his friends. Faid wanted to look like he was used to leading a flamboyant life. He wanted to be one of the smooth gangsters he adored when he was a child. In the mid-90s, the man led a criminal gang responsible for everything from armed robbery to jewel theft and extortion. After spending three years on the run, Red One Faid was arrested in 1998 and sentenced to 30 years in prison. He was released on parole only 10 years later. Once he was released, Faid wrote a book about his experiences, claiming he was a changed man. Two years later, in 2011, Faid was back in prison, this time with the nickname Levrikan, the writer. But Faid didn't entirely agree with his new eight-year sentence. Sure, he was in fact guilty of planning an armed robbery that had claimed the life of a policewoman, but this didn't mean he had to suffer too, right? That's why, in 2013, he used explosives to blast through five prison doors, while also taking hostages with him. Faid fled the prison using a getaway car, but authorities caught up with him six weeks later. And this time around, they weren't going to let him escape. Or so they thought. On July 1st, 2018, Red One Faid was serving his new sentence in the Sud Francilian prison in Rayu, in the Paris region. The stunt he'd pulled back in 2013 by breaking out of jail had gotten him 10 years imprisonment. 18 more years had been added to his sentence for masterminding the 2010 armed robbery in which a young policewoman was killed. This time around, Nobody believed Faid had another jailbreak in him. They were wrong. Over the years, Faid had become well-liked in prison. He was always polite to his guards and fellow inmates. He always had that old-time gangster aura about him. But sometimes, the quiet ones are the most dangerous. It was an early Sunday. It was also visiting day in the Sud Francilian prison in Rayu. 45-year-old Red One Faid walked quietly into the visitor's room. One of his brothers, Brahim, was there waiting to have a little chat with Faid. Everything seemed normal. There was no sign of foul play. Despite this, prison officials were paying close attention to Faid. For some months, there had been several sightings of drones flying over the prison. Authorities immediately had to wonder whether there was a connection between the drones and Faid. For months, officials requested that Faid be transferred to another facility. But by the 1st of July, 2018, the man was still in the same prison, which left guards fearing for their safety. Once he got in the visitor's room, Red One Faid made himself comfortable and started talking to his brother. He knew attracting the guard's attention in any way would put a big dent in his plans. He had to appear unbothered, relaxed. In reality, he was probably more than excited, his body tingling in anticipation. He loved planning moments like this. In fact, he thought of himself as a bit of a filmmaker. Only he wasn't making up a story for the screen. He was altering real life, freezing time, and anticipating any problem that might interrupt his art form. While he talked to his brother Brahim, three other men were carrying out the master plan to help Faid break out of prison. 
Earlier that morning, Stephanie Bai, a helicopter pilot who had been hired by some tourists to give a ride over the countryside outside of Paris, found himself in a dire predicament. He found himself at the mercy of two gunmen. The gunmen ordered him to obey their instructions, otherwise, they said, Bai's family would be in great danger. To make sure the pilot would cooperate, the gunman told him there was a commando stationed just outside his home, just waiting for the signal to hurt the man's partner and his daughter. The 65-year-old pilot gulped for air. He knew he had no choice but to follow the men's orders. The helicopter took off. Shortly after, it made a quick stop in a field. A third man boarded the helicopter, but not before the gunman loaded what sounded like weapons and other equipment. Once again, the helicopter took off, heading towards Rayu. One of the gunmen told the pilot to land in a triangular courtyard near the prison's main entrance. The prison courtyard was the only area not protected by anti-aircraft netting, mostly because prisoners would use it only to enter and exit the prison. As the helicopter made its descent into the prison courtyard, guards were confused. No one was sure what was happening, not even the prison's central command. In hindsight, nobody believed anyone would be crazy enough to try to pull this kind of stunt. In hindsight, they were wrong. But then something happened. Two armed men wearing black ski masks, paramilitary combat gear, and ski goggles to protect their eyes jumped out of the helicopter and into the courtyard. The men threw smoke bombs and tear gas canisters at all the surrounding buildings. Meanwhile, the third man remained inside the helicopter, his gun pointed promptly at the pilot's head. He ordered the pilot to hover the helicopter above the courtyard. Then they waited. Meanwhile, the two other gunmen used a power saw to open the door leading into the prison building. They both had rifles and were ready to use them at any time. In a matter of minutes, one of the men entered the visitor's room. Fayed followed him. Together, the two men made their way out of the prison building. Nobody dared to prevent them from leaving the building. In fact, nobody was there, not even one guard. Once Fayed got to the helicopter, he knew he had to do one last movie-like gesture. He turned toward the prison and saw two people, a guard and an inmate, watching him from behind a window. Smiling like one of his beloved old-time gangsters, Faid put his right hand to his temple into a mocking Air Force salute. Then, he was gone. A massive manhunt ensued, involving more than 3,000 French police officers. Red One Faid spent three months on the run before he was eventually caught. He was arrested on Wednesday, October 3, 2018, at around 4 a.m. local time. Perhaps his sentimentality was what gave him away. French special forces found Faïd in an apartment located in Cray, a city in the northern suburbs of Paris in Faïd's birthplace. After he was finally caught, Red One Faïd was immediately taken to one of France's most secure prisons and placed in solitary confinement. Faïd still won, in a sense. His devotion to becoming a movie-like gangster was rewarded in 2018, shortly after he was arrested. French director Pierre Morel, best known for directing Taken, revealed his intention to direct a Red One Faid biopic.